Hi, Yuko here. Today's topic is Miracle Apples, Akinori Kimura's life dedicated to impossible pesticide-free farming. Mr. Kimura began growing apples without the pesticides and the fertilizers long before people began to pay attention to organic food. It took 11 years, but he did it. However, he had to go through lots of difficulties. Okay, let's begin. Have you ever heard of a Japanese person named Mr. Aki Nori Kimura, who made miracle apples? He has accomplished an unprecedented achievement of growing apples without pesticides and fertilizers. When you grow apple trees from seeds, apples do not become tasty apples. It will not be easy to grow apple trees if it is not treated by a graft method and taken care of by people. Apple trees are vulnerable to pests, and farmers must use large amounts of pesticides. When Mr. Kimura and his wife sprayed pesticides on the apple trees, they wore rain suits. But, the pesticides came in from the sleeves and the collar, and got onto the skin. The skin became severely inflamed, painful, and turned red. In the meantime, his wife got sick from the pesticides and became bedridden. He decided to make a big decision and change the direction to the pesticide-free cultivation. But, for 11 years after starting the pesticide-free cultivation, no apples were grown. Since it was pesticide-free, insects such as caterpillars piled up on the apple tree. He took them off one by one. One tree had enough insects to fill a large plastic bag. He removed the insects off of 800 apple trees, one by one, but still, he had no apples. Other apple farmers suffering from the pesticides started pesticide-free cultivation, just like Mr. Kimura. But, they were frustrated because no apples were produced, and eventually they returned to spraying pesticides. Still, Mr. Kimura was the only one who continued pesticide-free cultivation. The insect pests also damaged Mr. Kimura's apple trees, and the apple trees almost collapsed when he pushed against them. Mr. Kimura apologized to the apple trees that he had made them suffer because he had stopped using pesticides. He talked each tree for 800 trees every day. You don't need to bring flowers or fruit, but please don't die. Later, these 800 trees produced apples, but 82 of them died. Those 82 trees were on the border of the plantation where neighbors could hear him. He didn't talk to those trees because he didn't want anyone to see him talking to the apple trees. When nothing could be done for his dying apple trees, he raised his hands toward the sky and said, Please give me strength. If you know the answer, please tell me. Even though it was 30 years ago, the monthly living cost, $30, was not enough. The food staple was weeds. His family was so poor so that he had to cut an eraser into three and give to his three children for school. The poverty lasted not months but for years and years. Other nearby farmers treated him as crazy. He went into the woods to hang himself, thinking he wasn't good enough. When he was about to do it in the deep forest, he saw a wild apple tree in the distance. He was surprised that it was growing healthy even though neither pesticides nor fertilizers were used. He discovered the importance of the soil by touching the ground near the root area of the tree. He soon recognized the tree he saw was not an apple tree. But, this gave him hope for the future. He stopped pulling out weeds, and his farm became a jungle of weeds. Then rabbits, mice, and weasels appeared, and the farm became a wild kingdom. Frogs began to eat the moth, pests from the apple trees. Big earthworms began to improve the condition of the field. However, the apple blossoms still did not bloom. And, next year was no good either. In the third year, since the soil was becoming conditioned, only one out of 800 trees bloomed seven flowers. All apple trees bloomed in the next summer of the 11th year since he decided pesticide-free cultivation. It was in 1998, and at that time, his success didn't yet become a hot topic in Japan. 
However, Mr. Kimura's Miracle Apples did become famous and popular, and he also became a best-selling author. He appeared on TV, and has been invited for lectures throughout Japan. Mr. Kimura still goes to a field that is covered by snow, after all apples are harvested. He touches each apple tree that has no leaves or fruits, and he looks up at the branches and says, Good job. Thank you. Everyone was happy again this year, and I was happy too. Usually, when a harvest ends, the farmer's work ends. How many of those who work in the fields, would like to thank the trees and fields after the harvest? Mr. Kimura's story, dedicated to pesticide-free apple cultivation, was published in Japan under the title Miracle Apples. Yoko Ono, John Lennon's widow, translated it into English and tried to publish it in the United States. However, just before the publication, the book was banned. Moreover, she could not know the reason. She hired a detective and found that a company had put pressure on the publisher to stop her book. You can read the English version of Miracle Apple for free on Yoko Ono's website. If you like this story, I recommend you read her book. How was today's story? His apples don't rot. They just shrink as time goes by, but they never melt away. Is it amazing? If you are interested in Mr. Kimura's life and his miracle apples, please visit Yoko Ono's website, imaginepeace.com, and read the book she translated into English to find out more. By the way, scientists input many parameters that can affect our life and ask AI about our future. Every single factor they input ended up into human extinction except for one. Do you know what it is? It's the chemical-free agriculture. Mr. Kimura's pesticide-free and fertilizer-free farming may be a key to save our future. If you like Japanese culture, please subscribe my channel. See you soon. Bye-bye.